All right, quick video here before I get this thing shipped out. So, here is a star killer I just finished up. Um, same way I normally do them with a couple of different um, couple of different things that make this one a little bit special. Uh, I went ahead and used an oversized crystal in the chamber. So something that was decided upon by the client and myself, which meant that I could not use the focusing ring or the focusing element, which you will see in mine. This is my personal. So, so there's a feature there that kind of, that is actually, that's an actually an interpretation that, you know, there's no reference for any of that, but we wanted to put it in anyways, because, you know, options. But on this one, we didn't. We decided to use an oversized crystal instead. This one has, vintage Graflex pins in the front and other vintage hardware. The hex mesh that I normally do is behind the eye. The rods are modified as you'll always see me do. The artwork in the uh, in the um, on the loading screen of the game shows it like this and this is how I prefer it. The band here is darkened which it should be. That's correct to the theme. Looking at this one now this is my most recent one, I kind of want to go back and do the weathering, a little bit more weathering on mine to make it look like this. Quite like that. Looks good. So if anybody's not familiar with this lightsaber, this is an all steel SK, soles hold, steel front, steel band, steel bunny ears, titanium chamber body here. This whole piece that extends up to the front is titanium and uh, it comes silver in the pictures and then you you torch it like this and it turns blue this is silver copper steel the only thing that's aluminum on this lightsaber is these anodized uh, uh, pieces right here the cover tech the eye the button clamp box and the uh the switch plungers here those will be the only things made out of aluminum oh uh, yeah, well, the blade pocket's aluminum, too, in here. So the way that this works is when you put a blade in here, you unscrew this piece. It causes the top to loosen up slightly. Then you feed the blade in past this piece into the body, and then you tighten this screw. What that does is it pulls the top register towards this face, whereas this one and this one are, pull are pulled towards this face. So it acts as a kind of a wedge lock and uh, works fantastic actually. But uh, actually that was kind of unintentional. And the set screw for the blade is here in the front. So this one has a NeoPixel setup in the chassis, which is new to what I've been doing. A new journey begins. So NeoPixel setup in the rear animations crystal chamber up here well, so you see that as well features from just the neopixel that shines through there um, this chassis is done in steel bronze with sterling silver rods right here and steel bronze for the rear as well Let's see, what else have we done differently on this lightsaber? Um, this will be one of, I have one more to do, and then that will probably maybe be the last of the uh, SK chassis designed by Solos Hold. Sound bank selection. Star killer. Audio player. I will not rest. because Shapeways went out of business. So I don't know if we're gonna be printing any more of these and doing these this way. So if anybody asks me to do one of these again, it's probably gonna to have to be a custom custom chassis machined because we're not gonna be able to get these parts. So mine, it's a little different. This is my personal. This was the first one to be done. So this is number one. This is number three. 
So, so yeah, there we have it. I'm trying to think here. I want to get this thing boxed up and out today. CFX, 3.7 solution, kill switch here. These now come with the CoverTech correctly aligned um, straight out of the gate from Aaron's uh, website. If he still has any more in stock, I really don't know if he does. Crystal chamber set to pulse, standard. So both of these are real crystals. Uh, and that was chosen by the client. That's uh, something that I actually have a bit of fun with. Usually if they want something custom, then we, um, we go searching and we find out what's perfect for their build. And that is a crystal with a lot of character. I quite like that. It's got some dark inclusions inside the crystal. I don't know if that's going to show. But they light up. They look. It look. Crystals always look a little bit funny on screen because the camera just it gets blown out by the light, and um, and you don't you don't get to see all the detail. But uh, whoops, there we go. But yeah, there we have it. Let me get this thing boxed up. Thanks for watching.